Hi, I'm Pete Couture with International Light Technologies. Today we're going to show you how to retrofit an LSI Scottsdale fuel pump canopy fixture with one of our canopy light retrofit kits that come in both an 11,000 lumen and 13,000 lumen fixture. The nice part about this is all you have to do is replace the lens and we're going to show you how to do that right now. So first thing you're going to do is open this up and remove the existing lamp which you do not need. You're going to have to discard this properly and recycle because it does contain mercury. Everything else can remain the same. You just need to disconnect and access AC power directly. The next thing you're going to do is remove the retaining clips, three out of the four retaining clips, and you can loosen the top ones. And then you'll do that so that you can remove the lens. So make sure you save these for use when you're reassembling the retrofit kit. Like I said, we're just going to loosen these a little bit. And then remove this last one. And then the lens will pop right out and you'll slide it out from underneath the top ones. Now we're going to retain the gasket. You're not going to use the gasket as a seal, but you're going to use the gasket to create a spacer, a space to go up underneath the retaining brackets just like you had on the lens. So you're going to assemble the gasket just like it was on the lens. Make sure it's stretched fairly equally around. Okay, so now what we're going to do is assemble the retrofit kit to the frame where the lens was. So the first thing you're going to do is slide it under the, the bracket at the top and then position it so that the gasket cleared on the other three sides. And then what we'll do is we'll start with the one on the bottom. Let me do this the wrong way. Sliding it under the gasket first and positioning it over the hole. leave it a little loose until you get the other two assembled also. So again, just underneath the gasket and then line it over the hole. And then same for the last one. Tighten this one right down and move around to the other four screws. So now you're done with the hard part. All you need to do now is wire AC to the retrofit kit. Uh, the AC also, there are, this retrofit kit will take anywhere from 90 to 277 volts AC. So it does have a universal input. So what you've done is previously you disconnected the AC power from the transformer and ballast and such that were inside the original fixture. You don't need any of that. So you're just going to remove that and then attach your line, uh, in line load and ground <clears throat> using three wire nuts and making sure you do everything per your local electrical code. And it is simple as that. And then close it up and you are complete.